I've got only three minutes and 14 seconds to explain what a limit is. No worries, no scary definitions. Let's break it down with simple ideas. Here's a classic case. What does the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity mean? In plain words, what happens to the function when x becomes very large? A few things can happen. The function can grow without bound. It goes to infinity. It might decrease without bound. It goes to minus infinity. Or, interestingly, it might approach a fixed number. That's the essence of a limit. Understanding what a function does as x gets close to something, whether a number or infinity. Let's look at another key idea. What's the limit of f of x as x approaches a real number a? We're asking as x gets closer and closer to a from both sides, does f of x get closer to a specific value? If yes, the limit exists, and that value is the limit. But not all functions behave nicely. Take f of x equals 1 over x. What's the limit as x approaches 0? From the right, f goes to positive infinity. From the left, it dives to negative infinity. Since the two sides don't agree, the limit doesn't exist in the usual sense. Now you might wonder, okay, but how do we actually calculate limits? It depends on the function. Sometimes you get stuck with expressions like, these are indeterminate forms. They don't tell you the answer what to do. Simplify. Sometimes algebra helps. Other times we use well-known tricks. The squeeze theorem, useful when a function is trapped between two others. As x approaches infinity, knowing what grows faster is key. For smooth functions, use series to simplify limits near a point. And finally, the mighty L'Hopital's rule. If you get zero over zero or infinity over infinity, take derivatives of top and bottom and try again. So, did I explain limits in three minutes and 14 seconds? If it's clearer now, mission accomplished. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think and see you next time.